Welcome back. Of course, there's a big event scheduled in Hamilton this weekend. Maria has, uh, has more on a very personal connection. Hi, Maria. That's right, Taz. Hamilton Supercrawl is expected to draw thousands to the James Street North Art District this weekend. The event is also the launch of a very personal project, one that could enhance the lives of many. The work by Yvonne Felix is textural, abstract, and at times finely detailed a surprising element for a person declared legally blind. Yvonne has Stargardt disease, a form of macular degeneration. What that means is I have a blind spot in my central vision that is sort of white and hazy with some reds and blues in it. And then I have peripheral vision, uh, which is about 2%. And within that 2%, I can see sort of shapes and shadows. But last spring, Yvonne was given a magical opportunity. The married mother of two boys was able to test drive new made-in-Canada technology for the visually impaired. These goggles combine a high-resolution video camera with near-to-eye video screens, maximizing the wearer's remaining eyesight. For Yvonne, her blind spot seemed to disappear. I got to see you know, my husband holding my son, whereas if I didn't have the eyewear on, I would have to sort of scan and move around and that picture would be distorted. Six-year-old Noah shared cherished photos with his mother, her wedding, her artwork, his childhood. It was almost like looking back except with new eyes. I got to see, you know, visually moments in my life that at that time I didn't actually get to visually experience. But the fleeting opportunity was a reminder to Yvonne of how little she sees. It's pretty overwhelming at times, like when I, even when I think about it. Because it's not something on a daily basis that I get to see, like my son's face. She's determined to live out this temporary cure and give the opportunity to others. She's designed this blind eye pendant as a fundraiser. So this piece is actually based on the blind spot that I see, and you know it's been prittied up into a wearable piece of jewelry. A strong supporter of vision loss research, this capable artist says eSight eyewear will allow the visually impaired to live an enhanced life. I don't feel like it has affected my ability to achieve goals in my life, but just simple things that, you know, just seeing someone's face is something that I don't get to do. Yvonne's jewelry will be available for purchase beginning tomorrow at Hamilton Supercrawl. Or you can contact the artist through her website, yvonnefelixartwork.com.